All right, guys. This is John Phillips. Uh, it's about 1.40. Kind of late in the day for me to be doing something like this, but I was kind of dragging ass this morning and uh, took a long lunch. So now here I am putting a water heater in. Uh, it's up on the second floor in a condo under an air conditioning unit. Uh, this is a 30 gallon low boy. I've got the other water heater draining down right now. It's uh, it's kind of a nasty one. This is... Uh, look at the dust. That's from the air handler sucking air in through this louver door. Anyways, this is uh, this is the water heater I'm taking out. I'm gonna cut it back there on the hot side, put a shark bite. Look at this valve. Because they've got all kinds of different uh, shit on here fittings steel this is all electrolysis and probably the a ac unit dripping down on top of it this is a new unit it was just put in on september 21st so it's got these flex hoses which i'm going to get rid of galvanized on top horrible some handyman must have done this for sure uh but anyways Sounds like the power's still on. I thought I had it off. That's just the water running out of it. Uh, anyways, I'll check that. I don't know where that ground goes. That ground clamp, this ground wire goes to here. And the ground clamp's on the copper back there. This is just weird. But anyways, I'm going to... I'm going to put a shark bite coupling in the back, back there, move that uh, ground clamp, and I'm going to put the valve out here in the front, so it's not in the way of that. You can't even shut the damn, well, you can shut it off, but you can't shut it, turn it all the way on, <laughs> the valve, because it hits the drain. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I think it's totally drained down now, and I'm going to pull it out, so. Alright, so I got this water heater out. I'm ready to grab it with the hand truck. And get this guy out of here. That's a nasty one. I'm going to set this camera up, and hopefully you'll be able to see me go down this staircase. Kind of funny. Maybe I'll do it down here.
So this new heater is 23 inches. I didn't realize that they actually had a 30 gallon skinny in here. So as long as we got 23, yeah. We got 24 and a half, so that other heater should slide in there. So I'm gonna bring it up. Probably should have checked that before I fucking tore the old one out, but oh well. You want to be a plumber. Alright guys, so I'm all done on this water heater in the closet here on the second floor. Not fun, but they're never fun. Everything looks good. No leaks. I brought this ball valve out. To the front easier to turn on and off water's on I mean heat electrics on new pan hooked up the drain valve the pan drain it wasn't hooked up before whoever did the last heater just cut it off and put the pan in but didn't hook it up to the damn pan drain so Anyways, it's all done. Let's see if we got some hot water here.
Yep. Already hot. That's good. A little fucking battle wound today. Par for the course. <laughs> That's it. This door does not work, and I ain't fixing it. I'm gonna put it just the way it was when I got here. It's fucking laying in the hole. Mm. Bye-bye, second floor. I vacuumed everything up. Made it look nice. Vacuumed the whole staircase. Neatness counts, my friends. Neatness counts. At least it looks like you tried, you know? Anyways, we're all good here. Oof. That was funky in this. Look at that. Beautiful. I think they'll get another 10, 12 years on that. Yeah, it's already hot. That's it, guys. I'm out. How you doing?